Hello everybody, welcome to Sketch Club. I'm Jason Meyer, and tonight we've got some California sea cliffs we're gonna be sketching. We're gonna be spending the entire, entire half hour on one sketch, for real. But wait till you see what it is. Wait till you see what it is. I think you're gonna dig it. I think you're gonna dig it. But before that, today was picture day at Izzy School. And since, well, I'm a dad, I'm gonna share. This wasn't from school, but this is what I got of her in the peach tree that was given to me on Father's Day by her a few years ago. So how freaking cool is that? I think that's pretty freaking cool. Anyway, had to share that. And then we've had some help around the studio a little bit. And, um, putting together some exciting things. So if any of you guys have been watching, wondering, uh, hey, should I spend any time with this guy? Well, some of you have probably seen Shakti around. Look at what Shakti was able to do. From month one to month four to month eight. Some artistic development. So uh, make sure to check out our courses, our online courses and our monthly classes if it's of interest to you. All right, enough about me and mine. Should we get to sketching? How does that look? Look who's there. Cindy's always there. Thank God Cindy is always there. Yeah, she's done some good stuff. She's done some good stuff. But it's time for some new stuff. So let's see what we can get into tonight. Let's get the video rolling. Let's see, I bet you I could flip me around so I'm looking the right direction. Hiya! Look at that, bang. There we go. I don't need to be staring off, off into the corner. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Miss Shakti, speaking of. Speaking of the one and only. That was her progress you just saw. And her daughter. Ellie put that together. So how cool was that? How cool was that? Hi, Marty. Thanks for joining us. So tonight we're going to be doing a single sketch for half an hour on um, the sea cliffs of California. I think we can call these cliffs, right? You fall off them, it hurts. Does that constitute a cliff? Is that big enough? But sometimes it's decoding the big thing. So I'm interested in that house that's lit up on the very side there. And can you see how light kind of works almost as a straight line straight across, but diminishes? So I'm going to play off of that. And then notice how the land at our feet kind of comes from an L, almost an L off of that, that little peninsula, peninsula land jutting out there. As usual, I'm going to start with my vine charcoal and kind of get a sense of everything, right? And why do I start with my vine charcoal? Because it's so forgiving. It's so forgiving. All right. If it's your first if it's your first if it's your first boxing match, don't sign up for the death match. Don't sign up to fight to the death. It's probably not a good decision. All right, save that for later. So that vine charcoal is much more forgiving. Much more forgiving. So 
So instead of seeing a bunch of individual parts here, I, I want to see this big piece. All right, so we always want to start with our big pieces, and then we can subdivide from there. Unless you got quite a bit of skill and experience, I would not recommend starting from the small pieces and going to the large. You are courting disaster, my friend. You are courting disaster. So, if wreckage you want, if wreckage is what you want, then go for it. But if you want to learn to get control over these things and be able to do it in a relatively short period of time, then work big to small. See big to small. Hey, there's our Miss Susan. How you doing, Susan? How did your studies go today, Susan? Does your husband hate me? You've been quite busy with art. You've been quite busy for art, so I hope he's supportive. But it's paid off. It's paid off too. I hope he's seen the progress. So what am I doing now? I've got all this gray, this one big gray shape. And what in tarnation? What in tarnation has got into you? Well, we need forward, right? And what more forward than a big post? Right? Better have a big post in your face than been falling over the edge of that cliff. But notice from the light of that post, I'm gonna go right to the light of that house. So I'm kind of pulling these lights out and then notice I'm gonna work across the canvas and let these lights skip and be a little bit different shapes, different sizes, but generally speaking, getting smaller as we move across the canvas because we're going way back there, baby. We're gonna go way back there. And in order to do that, we've gotta show big to small. Big to small. It's all relative. It's all relative. And then as kind of a light echo, those cliffs, those nearest cliffs are a little bit lit up for us. So I'm going to enlarge the photo here for a minute. I want to see if you can see those light patterns that I'm talking about. Oh, I can't ha- It's on the video. I can't enlarge it. Who am I fooling? Who am I fooling? But I got other ways, don't you worry. I got other ways around it. And along with that light of that post, how about a nice dark shadow? Let's just anchor these things. I mean, we're on the side of a sea cliff, so let's make sure we're nice and sturdy here. All right, nice and sturdy. Don't need anybody getting dizzy and losing their lunch or something that'd not be good so if Jason's still around he'll remember our motto is always safety first right bud safety first if it wasn't safe him and I never even considered it never crossed our mind What's a nice solid post anyway, without a big heavy chain coming out of it? So what I want you to notice is I've got the post, the dark, and right connected to that dark was the cast shadow on the ground, and connected, <laughs> connected to the dark, <laughs> connected to the dark. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that right there. We'll just leave that right there. Connected to the dark, 
Um, from the top is the chain. The chain. Safety first, my friends. Safety first. That's right. <laughs> I think we were elected the safest two in school, if I remember right. Safest two in school. <laughs> Oh, man. I hope you've gotten a little more intelligent, Jason. I'm glad I did. We had a lot of fun, but oof. I don't know that we were the most intelligent fellas. I don't know that we acted the most intelligently. But, man. We had a good time. We had fun. Even that bush, the dark of the bush, connects to the dark of the chain. Another little bush there. I'm calling it a bush, but what? Is, it's a dark mark. It's a, you know, all that dark burnt wood can do is make a dark mark. Right? I'm lying to you when I tell you it's a bush. It's burnt charcoal. It's just burnt charcoal rubbed on, oof, rubbed on its relative that didn't turn out so well either. So, and then the viewer's mind turns it into the seaside, of, sea cliffs of California. Varsity P. Varsity P. That's right. We, we were so safe that we didn't even sign up for athletics. We led the varsity physical education. The box. I'm sure, I'm sure Jason remembers the box. Oof. We had a talking to about the box. But... Enough of our childhood exploits. And then repeat the post pattern once or twice. Repetition. And I believe these posts are going to turn into a dark tree silhouette. A dark tree silhouette. Let's see, it is 2021. I graduated in 1991. And I think it was... Was it yet in yesterday's show? This morning's show? On some show recently, we were just talking about Napoleon Dynamite and Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico, in his video, he could have gone state. And man, let's see, 91, 2001, 11, 21, so that makes it 30 years. 30 years, and we're, we can still proudly hold on to our varsity PE years. That's right, years, ladies and gentlemen. Not a single year, but years. We were quite the physical specimens. I hope you guys are seeing, apart from a goofing around, that... Um, these darks are all connected and I turn one into a chain, one into a post, one into a bush, one into another bush, another into the edge of the vegetation falling over the seaside, up into a tree. But it's all a dark and if I can keep that a single value, then my work will be stronger. Right? In terms of mass, right? We're working in terms of mass. Hey, Miss Claudia. I was just asking Cindy how you doing. She said you had some appointments and stuff. So we're glad to see you. Glad to see you. Here a little bit earlier, you got here us celebrating our youth, the glory days of high school. And so, as I want to move back into space, so this is the the beach, running down from the sea cliffs. Probably a little bit steep, but hey, we're doing a lot in a short time. Oh, hey, hey, 
Good for you. Well, I hope it's a good. I hope it was a good trip. I hope it was a good trip. I'm assuming it's a good trip from uh, exclamation mark. So, I think you said you might. I hope you got to see your family from down south. That'd have been awesome. So, well, welcome back. Welcome back, Claudia. Nice and rejuvenated, so you can be feistier than ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we're doing some seaside from a bit south of you today, Claudia. A bit south. Let's see, how long a drive is this from you? This is probably about an hour south from you, I guess. 45 minutes to an hour, I guess. Oh, your sister and brother-in-law. Well, good, 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 family, 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 family. I know it's not the kids and the grandkids you're dying to see, but I'm sure there's lots of family you're dying to see. There's family I think we're all dying to see. Kids are next, excellent. That's what I like to hear. Uh, where is this? This is down in the Shell Beach area. Just down in the Shell Beach area, just South of Avila there. Sunny California. It was colder than cold out there. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Shakti. Yeah, you know, it. Um, it's true. You know, every now and then, you know, let's stop, stop and watch. And uh, you can pick up quite a bit. You can pick up quite a bit, I think. So now what I've done is I've broken that dark continuation that I was working on. And I've, in a sense, jumped over to the end of the dark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two together. Right? All the while thinking of going bigger to smaller. And since I did that small over there, I realized I'm going to need a little bit bigger in the middle ground so that I can continue to get small as I go back. So that's why I'm coming back and making these a little bit bigger again so I can step down to that last segment of trees and darks over there. And so you see that kind of one continuous dark skipping and hopping along. It's like if evil was a little girl or something. I was going hopping down the street. Forty five minutes to Shell Beach. Nice. <laughs> She's on it. Claudia's like, I don't know how you drive. But I'm there in 45 minutes. <laughs> Go get them, Tiger. Go get them, Tiger. Oof. Uh, maybe I drive sl slower than you. Maybe I drive slower. Again, so we want that dark, the dark to feel like it's way back there. And how are we going to do that? Well, that any of the dark that we got up here, let's make more. Let's make larger, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little more active shape. Right? Active shape. Not like the Varsity PE box. Not like the box. More interesting shape. More interesting shape. Now, guys, I'm not able to do this on the fly. I had to know what I wanted to do before I started this. 
Okay, and I think that's one mistake a lot of people don't understand that the hard part is you have to see it finished before you start. Right, and everything before that's just kind of a study, really. But it's okay to study. I, I usually do lots of studying before I see it. But the purpose of the study is to see. And then once you can clearly see your idea and, and see how to implement your idea, know where the values go, where the hard edges go, the soft edges go, right? where the finish is, where the start is, how fast you want to get from the finish to the start. You want to know all that stuff before you make the first mark of your painting. And then if you know that before you, before you put the first mark down, then you can go directly there. Directly and efficiently. And masterfully, right? Come on, this is about mastery. So I like to grab that little bit of a darker cloud up there because I think that's kind of a nice release and finish to that dark running from this front of the canvas. And then I want to make the connection between the sky and the hills and that area weaker so that your eye's not drawn back there. Some clouds right there will help weaken the backside of that. And that's going to help us look at the ocean and in particular where the ocean meets the sea cliffs. Right. Also notice that you know my idea doesn't always happen in one go. Sometimes it takes going over a couple of times especially if you're going to use the vine charcoal. And then we might have to see where things are and either darken or lighten things to get what we need. You, you got it right there, Claudia. Waiting for the vision of the finishes sometimes, yeah. And you can't wait for it, you gotta work for it. It's a working and a waiting, yeah. But you, you guys have come so far in this last year, really since we were, uh, got into quarantine here we just decided to go for it and man those of you who came along we've just seen you grow by leaps and bounds it's been so fun to watch and much better than just sitting around being pissed off I had a much better year so I hope you guys did too but you know we're given what we're getting we've got what we've got and the job of the artist is whatever you've got, let's make it beautiful. How beautiful can it be? With what we've got, what's the most beautiful thing I can do? How's that for a question, huh? How's that for a question? What's the most beautiful thing I can do? <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Thanks, the process of emergence. Oof, what? That sounds transcendental. Transcendental. But I, I do want you guys to see it is a, a dark light pattern. A dark light pattern. It's been a great experience. Claudia's been with me a long time. Claudia, Claudia's a, a friend. She's a good friend now. And how long have we been together, Claudia? It seems, it seems like forever. It seems like forever, but there was a time we didn't know each other. Actually, there was a time you were a newbie in class, come to think about it. It's hard to, hard to think about you that way. But yeah. And I think that's the other thing if you're out there watching is, you know, none of us were born this way. We all started. Said it once and I'll say it again. I'm so thankful that when I started, 
Nobody told me how awful I was. God, I was awful. Not only was I awful, but I stayed awful for a long time. Oof. Oof. Seven years. Oh my God, Claudia. Wow. That's awesome. I hope you're not having the seven-year itch. You're not going to be running off on me, are you? You're not running off on me, are you, Claudia? Now I'm all worried and nervous. Nervous I'm going to lose you. Uh, we've had a lot of seven here. Wow. Oof. Where does it go, guys? Where does it go? Yeah, we've been together seven years, but, you know, somehow this last year we've we made a lot of progress. <laughs> a lot of progress. I think we'll keep going. You know, one of the advantages of doing it online is uh, you don't have to slough your, slough your stuff around. So I think kind of an ideal schedule coming out of this would be a lot of online lessons and stuff and then a periodic get together in person and paint or critique or something. But rather than come together, you know, every week or twice a week, pack all your stuff in the car, drive 45 minutes, unpack all your stuff, set it up, take it down, pack it back in the car. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Or maybe a two or three day workshop every, every quarter or so. All right, where you can leave your stuff overnight. Anything's possible. Aww. <laughs> I love you. Not going anywhere. Pulled me along. And, well, thanks. Thanks, thanks. And that is something I want to do because we all do have dry periods. Kind of creative, seemingly blank spots. You know, and sometimes it takes somebody a little with a little obnoxious like me. Going, hey, 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 hey. Not always, not all, but sometimes we do. Right? We all do that. We all do that. By the way, all of you guys have been with me for so long, so many years. You've done the same thing for me, believe it or not. There have been plenty of times along the way I just did not have it. Oof. It can be kind of rough. But if you just relax and you got a little community of friends and family, you come back. You come back. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. So what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? So guys, right at the end of this, I do have the replay. The whole thing will replay. I think it's about a minute or just over a minute. So be sure to watch that because I think it's easier to pick up those patterns. And now what am I doing here? I want to go one near to far from here to the back and darker to lighter from the edge of the page to the shore. So I'm thinking about moving in two directions at one time. It was just, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it was. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Susan's been right there, too, the whole way. Susan's been so great. We've made, and that was the point. You know, that was the point. I could, I, if I didn't do something, it wasn't going to be good. And I knew there was other people kind of at home. And so, and, uh. Man, I have some good things come out of it. I have some good things come out of it. So now in the last couple of minutes I have here, last few minutes I have, I'm going to clean up some of these lighter marks, and I'm going to add a little bit of white, again, from near to far. And now this is a big scene to try to do all of this in a half an hour. But... It's a good way to get started, right? Because rather than getting messed around, get it all out there, get it out there quick, and then have a look at the whole thing. 
let's have a look at the entire canvas and see oh well maybe this tree maybe that house that should be longer that should be shorter that should be brighter A <laughs> tribe. Yeah, I always struggle with words, but we have made a little tribe here that um, our whole family's grateful for. We really, really are. So. <clears throat> something special about the people who do art. There's something special about the people who do art. Right? So again, this is kind of my finish. So I want this to be an interesting kind of dance across the canvas again while I'm trying to say near to far. And one way I can say that is by going from more to less. And then if I had the wherewithal, I'd either decide to make that cliff more or less than the houses, but I would orchestrate that. Mr. Pettit knows something about orchestration. Mr. Pettit. Oof. That sounded a little weird. Okay, so the motto is you start the finish, meaning the finish of the whole canvas, of the whole design, and then you finish the start. Or basically, you refine the start into the finish you imagined. Right? So little waves and stuff around the rocks and stuff at the ocean. Again, just some more activity up front. Get weaker and less as we go back. And that's about it, guys. But hey, it's our show, right? And I just could not end the show without getting a little bit of light in that sky. I said, hey, you got to respect their time. And I, I just wouldn't listen to myself. I had, I just, like my body would not let me hit stop record. But now that I got a little bit in there, is a little it's not very beautiful but still it's a little bit something All right and now it feels more like a complete picture doesn't it even though it's not quote unquote refined it can be complete all right let's watch this happen really quick here let's watch this rewind happen Again, that gray going across and then coming down. I want to see it as a single piece first. And then I can pull out my lights. All right, see how much forgiveness and I can push and pull and fix everything I need before I get into my dark charcoal and make a commitment. And then look, each commitment I take off of or related to my last one. Right, so this isn't a bunch of individual things. This is one continuous thing. And that's the difference between seeing parts and seeing the whole. Or drawing or painting the parts versus painting the whole. I mean, I really think this can, you know, the more I work with this and the more I see this, man, this is just a masterpiece waiting to happen here, this reference. 
So we may see this pop up in one of our classes as a reference, or I might do it on my own. Who knows? But ladies and gentlemen, that's the show tonight. But since it is the show, let's go ahead and give a little shout out to Shakti. And Miss Ellie put that together. But what a nice little thing there, right? So we're trying to focus on artist development here rather than classes where you finish a painting or a drawing, but where over time, whether you start as a brand new artist or you're an experienced artist, that you see some development, right? So motivation, inspiration, and mastery. That's what we're after. Okay? And since it's my show and it was picture day at Izzy School, why don't we finish on that? How stinking cute is that? Inside a peach tree she bought me for Father's Day. Oof, some years ago. I hate she's growing up, but I love that kid. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back in the morning for Morning Jump Start. Until then, stay beautiful. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.